Consequences of Latent Heat of Fusion of Ice Latent heat of fusion of ice is the amount of heat required to change a unit mass of ice at its melting point into liquid at the same temperature. Did you know that the latent heat of fusion affects our life to a great extent? Let us discuss about some of the consequences of latent heat of fusion of ice. The temperature becomes very low after a hailstorm. This is because every kilogram of ice absorbs 336 kilojoules of heat energy from the surroundings and melts. As a result, the weather becomes very cold. For the same reason, it becomes bitterly cold as soon as the snow starts melting in cold countries. The weather gets pleasant when freezing starts in cold countries. Every kilogram of water on freezing releases 336 kilojoules of heat. Thus, when freezing starts in cold countries, a very large amount of heat energy is released into the atmosphere and this makes the weather pleasant. Snow on the mountains does not melt all at once. Ice or snow has a very high latent heat of fusion equal to 336 kilojoules per kilogram. To melt 1 kg of ice or snow on mountains, the required heat energy has to be absorbed from the sun. Therefore, snow on the mountains changes into water slowly as it absorbs heat from the sun. Water in lakes and ponds in cold countries does not freeze all at once. The water freezes slowly and thus saves the surroundings from freezing and makes the atmosphere moderate. Aquatic life can survive in the cold countries even if the temperature of the atmosphere is 0 degree Celsius or below 0 degree Celsius. This is because the water does not start freezing immediately. The water on the surface will freeze first when temperature goes below 0 degrees Celsius, but below the surface it is not frozen. The high latent heat of fusion of ice, along with the anomalous expansion of water, enables aquatic life to survive in cold countries. Anomalous expansion of water. When water at 0 degrees Celsius is heated, it contracts till 4 degrees Celsius instead of expanding and behaves like any other liquid above 4 degrees Celsius. This behavior of water is referred to as anomalous expansion of water. Natural consequence of anomalous expansion of water. When the water on the surface of a water body cools down to 4 degrees Celsius, its density increases and hence it sinks. The warmer layer of water from the bottom rises to the surface. This layer cools to 0 degree Celsius, thus forming a layer of ice. The dense layer of water at 4 degree Celsius remains in the liquid state as the ice formed on the surface is a bad conductor of heat and provides a suitable condition for the survival of fish and other aquatic animals. Soft and hard beverages are cooled by adding pieces of ice and not ice-cold water at 0 degree Celsius. Ice cubes are added while serving soft and hard beverages as 1 gram of ice absorbs 336 joules of heat energy from the beverage to melt into water at 0 degree Celsius. Thus the beverage loses a good amount of heat and cools effectively when a small piece of ice is added to it. The same effect would not be noticed when an equal amount of water at 0 degrees Celsius is added to the beverage.